A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outbox the other. It's Newcastle United, they take on Everton live. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United facing Everton. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And Everton unable to retain possession. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. It needs an accurate cross. Long staff. Oh, a tremendous block. And here's how Everton line up. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, there are few better players in the air. He's so dangerous when balls come into the box. So expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Credit to them for winning back possession. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Buckman. Longstaff. Gordon well, they're eyeing that final pass you just feel well there was impending danger but good defending a chance now with the corner well just listen to these fans they're urging their team to score here and take the lead Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, that's not a good clearance. Trippier. And space to cross it. Textbook defending inside the box. McNeil. Calvert Lewin. Godfrey looking for a teammate. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. Anthony Gordon. On to Almiron. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Teammates available. McNeil. Calvert Lewin. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, quite simply, a wild, wayward effort. And the less said about it, the better. Well, this has to get better because, as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Well, it wasn't first-class distribution. Dan Byrne.
Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. It's a corner. And over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Almiron. Gordon. What a block! And defensive play to be applauded. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Well, spot on with that challenge. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. But just like that, possession changes hands. Harrison. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Now can they counter clinically? Trying to open up the defence. Ducure. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Determined defending. Almiron. McNeil making progress Ducouré can they forge ahead and still a chance James Garner can he take advantage and it's in 1-0 they breach the defence Well, they love him, and he loves them. It's great scenes here. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. Well, the pressure has certainly been applied. Let's find out if Newcastle are feeling it. This could be interesting. Almiron. Could be. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Wilson. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. No problems for the keeper.
the ball back with Everton now Amadou Onana Well, these Newcastle fans are demanding a winner here, but can the players respond? They're certainly playing much better now. Who can he pick out? Well, the ball goes out of play for what will be a goal kick. And time for the change now. James to be replaced by number 21, Andre Gomez. Ducure. Andre Gomez under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him spot on with that tackle this might be ideal for the counter Trippier has lost possession Harrison It's with Ducure, and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Can he put it in? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Trippier. Wilson with it. Well, still time for them to level it. Trippier. Dan Byrne. Longstaff. Gordon. Bruno Guimaraes. How about the cross? The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Crossing into the middle. So the final whistle and no cause for celebration in the Magpies camp. What did you make of how it went? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. And well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.